Hey, what's going on everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, Simply Pops here, and this is the brand new AirPods third generation. Now, I've been real critical about the AirPods Pro. As you guys know, they just wasn't staying in my ears. They slip out and I ended up purchasing some memory phone air tips. It works a little bit more better. I start to realize I don't really like stuff in my ear canal. So that's why I reverted back to the AirPods 2. And I use my AirPods Max if I really want the ultimate AirPods experience such as noise canceling, transparency, spatial audio. So now with the AirPods 3, we have spatial audio we have uh, water and sweat resistance. That wasn't a feature on the AirPods 2. And of course, this is taking the same design language as the AirPods Pro. So shorter stems. We have the force touch to script reverse tracks, play pause. Transparency and noise canceling is only reserved for the Pro model. So it's totally absent on the third generation AirPods. But nonetheless, this is the standard AirPods that most of a lot of people have been waiting for. And I'm going to try them on right now. <laughs> I thought they almost slipped out my ear. And I'm gonna see if they sound better because that's definitely one of the most improvements because we have the adaptive EQs, we have um, the computational audio, spatial audio, so much going on. These just rest in your ears, it's not sticking all the way into the ear canal. So they stay on pretty snug. This one is kind of slipping a little bit, but I have some very small ears. So that's probably the main reason why the AirPods Pro haven't really fit me really well and that's why I made that video because it's not going to be for everybody. Okay, I'm going to play some Young Thug, Bubbly, Travis Scott and Drake. Okay. Right away the song hit you with the bass. Yo, Travis Scott, huh? Nah, but these sound definitely an improvement compared to the AirPods 2. Let me grab my AirPods 2 and I'm going to do a quick comparison. But now we got the good old AirPods 2, the classics. And these just fit perfect in my ears. Like no, like these are the perfect earbuds. And I love my AirPods too so much. A lot of people, oh, it don't stay in my ears. No, these fit perfect. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, guys. I'm liking the way how the AirPods 2 sound. <laughs> the AirPods 3, I like the AirPods 2 sound quality better than the AirPods 3. And, and even the fit, I'm not really confident with this fit too much. It sounds like, the AirPods 2 has a little bit more bass while the AirPods 3 has a little bit more treble. Um, but I, I'm a bass head. I love bass. So yeah, I'm going to do some more testing. I'll be right back and test out different genres of music. Okay, so AirPods 3, 24 hours later, I just been using them, editing videos, watching some content on Apple TV, on my iPad. So I've been using it and I just gotta say, if you didn't like AirPods Pro, you're not gonna really like the AirPods 3 because essentially it's the same exact design as the AirPods Pro, minus in the silicone tips and minus in the noise canceling and the transparency. So I feel like some people might experience some slippage where it's just not gonna fit in the air properly. And like I said in the beginning of the video, that was one of my main problems of the AirPods Pro. Now I do have them on right now as we speak, but there are some times where I feel like it's slipping off and that lowered down the sound quality, of course. I feel like when you walk or even do a little bit of jogging or even smiling, I feel like they might slip off and fall right down. So I'm really sit down and think about the price. $180 plus tax, bringing it up to 194 where I live, that's pretty expensive. And at that point, you're better off going to the AirPods Pro. And then if you go on Amazon, the link in the description, you can get the AirPods Pro for like 204, $200, sub $200, you can get the AirPods Pro. Why even get the AirPods 3 at that point? You get it more for your money and essentially at the same price, basically. And that's what made the AirPods 2 so special. It has a nice round, so it kind of just fit to your earlobe. This is what some people appreciate. And upgrading from the AirPods 2 to the AirPods 3 is too much change. Like right now, I feel like this left ear is slipping out. I can shake my head, there it goes. And here's this one going. 
Yep, there it goes. I can't wear this in the street. I, I really can't. I, just not enough. It's not in there securely. And yes, you guys are probably thinking, get the AirPods Pro, but even with that, that don't fit. So same problems that I had with the AirPods Pro, same occurs on the AirPods 3. You guys see this piece here? It's so much wider, but it's like, it's straight. It's a little curvature, but if you take the AirPods 2, it's just nice and round, so that just fits your ear better. Like, I could put this on right now, and this is definitely not falling off my ear. It's in there. Once it's in there, it's in there. This slips off a little bit. It's still on there, but it's just, it's not in there securely. Yes, I could probably rock with them a little bit more, but if the first impressions, if it's slipping off now, it's gonna slip off a week later, a month later. It just, this is it. I'm just letting you guys know, a disclaimer, it's gonna be the same thing. I just feel like Apple should have went with, I think Apple should have just took the AirPods 2 design, lower down the stem, and call it a day. If they wanna redesign it, upgrade the sound, upgrade the battery life, keep this design form factor because a lot of people are comfortable with this. Well, some people are, I know a lot of people don't like the AirPods too, it slips out their ears. The moral of the story is, everybody's ears are different. You gotta see which AirPods are right for you. But me personally, the best ever AirPods ever that Apple ever made, AirPods Max. Nothing is touching those. I know those are super expensive and it's not really travel friendly because it's so big. But in terms of the AirBuds, AirPods 2, I'm still gonna be rocking with the AirPods 2. I'm not gonna be rocking with the AirPods 3. It's just not... It's not gonna happen. And then even if you use the force sensor, when you gotta press on it hard, I feel like you're taking the earbud out your ear. I like the tap functionality so much better because when you tap on your AirPod, you tap on, on it. You're not physically pressing on it hard to get to the clicks. So you just tap, tap, tap. This, you gotta press on it and you gotta press on it hard. Not really too hard, but enough you gotta put a little force into it. In terms of battery life, the AirPods 3 is the best battery life of out of all the AirPods. AirPods beating out the AirPods Pro, AirPods 2, and even the AirPods Max. This can get up to 30 hours of battery life when you uh, charge up in the case, have the case fully charged. And speaking of charging, it supports MagSafe, so you can use your MagSafe charger from Apple because the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13 has MagSafe, so it would have been cool to be able to charge your AirPods on the back of your iPhone. Now, Apple has upgraded the microphones on the third generation AirPods compared to the AirPods 2, and we all know we use our AirPods to FaceTime, make phone calls, join Zoom meetings, so AirPods are one of the best AirBud microphones that you can get, and AirPods 3 is no exception. And yeah, let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think. So guys, that is my unboxing and review of the AirPods third generation. Let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think. And make sure you guys thumbs up the video, share this video with your friends, and make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. Until next time, have a simple day.